So how is this even possible? Nikon officially launched the 35mm f1.4 on the 26th of June 2024 and the thing that is baffling everyone is the price tag. It is available for pre-order as well. Now we'll get to the reason why this is. Let's first look at what competitors prices are currently ranked at. Canon currently has a 35mm f1.4 L2 USM retailing at $2000. Sony has a Sony FE 35mm f1.4 GM retailing at $1,400. Even if you look at Nikon's older 35mm, the 35mm f1.4 G is currently retailing at $1,600. So that is where everyone is like, something's not right here. This is where the difference comes in. So if you look at the specific lens, you'll see that it's 35mm f1.4 and if you look at the f1.8 you'll see the f 35 millimeter f1.4 s so that's the difference this is not part of the s line s lines has a shorter flange focal distance it has a larger inner diameter as well as eliminating chromatic aberrations so these three things specifically are the three things that set the s line apart from this from a marketing perspective i have to say that nikon is absolutely brilliant when it comes to this because they've just released a z63 which is a top tier mid-range mirrorless camera a lot of people are going out to buy the z63 but now you get back in a couple of days later you realize hey but nikon just released a 35 millimeter f1.4 at 600 dollars it's absolutely brilliant <laughs> you know hybrid camera and and with brilliant videography features or video features as well and a 35 millimeter f1.4 so this 35mm will work perfectly for video, it will work perfectly for photo as well. So now you have this combination, it's like, ha, I can spend an additional $600 in order for me to get this 35mm. No one has actually spoken about the release of a 35mm f1.4 in the S line. There's no, there's no mention of it as of yet. So whether it is coming or not, that's the question. I believe that eventually they will do something like that. So my question to you is, do you wait for the S line or do you go ahead and buy the 35 millimeter F1.4 as it currently stands? Me personally, I won't buy this 35 millimeter F1.4. I mean, I'm planning to do so because it's an absolutely steal of a price. And because I'm aware of the, 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 gaps in the lens those are things that i i know that when you go out and shoot as things that you need to make up for let me know in the comments what you think is nikon brilliant when it comes to marketing is this a lens that you will definitely go and buy i want the last for words these people were smart they were very smart